We love fast and expensive machines. The more horsepower, the better. Ferraris, Lamborghinis, we love them. But every so often, we come across something truly special. Its reputation, legendary. This is Gravedigger. Even if you've never actually seen a monster truck event, most people will instantly recognize the 1950 Chevy panel van bodied gravedigger. From the colorful graveyard scene emblazoned across its body to the menacing red headlights, apparently lifted from a school bus, gravedigger is perhaps the most iconic monster truck ever created. However, if you've been living under a rock for the last 30 years, gravedigger might appear to be nothing more than a silly lifted truck with huge tires. Think again. The truck itself is 11 feet tall and 12 feet wide and weighs in at nearly 12,000 pounds. The tires are five and a half feet tall and nearly four feet wide and weigh between 800 and 900 pounds each. At the heart of the beast is a 540 cubic inch Keith Black Chevy V8 blown and injected, producing upwards of 2,000 horsepower. Monster trucks like Gravedigger have been known to jump a distance of over 200 feet and reach a maximum height 24 feet off the ground. Simply a lifted truck with big tires? Think again. This is a very serious piece of hardware. The real legend of Gravedigger lives in the man that started it all, Dennis Anderson. Known for his all or nothing driving style, Anderson and his charismatic personality propelled the Gravedigger name to superstardom in the 1980s. 30 years after he started it all, Anderson continues to campaign one of the Gravedigger trucks. Hi, I'm Dennis Anderson, driver and creator of Gravedigger Monster Truck. The inspiration for Gravedigger Man is uh, my passion was big tires, tractors, a lot of power, and trucks. So I kind of combined them together a long time ago. And um, you know, here we are 30 years later. Got a Gravedigger right here behind this man, been doing it a long time. Took this old thing, man, from, uh, from a pile of junk and, uh, and made it what it is today. And um, you know, I worked on a farm with some uh, wealthy people, got in a spat with one of the farm hands out there and told him with a few choice words one, uh, one afternoon in a little scrap we got into that I'll take this old junk and dig you a grave. And I went out in the woods and spanked his butt and I took a can of spray paint and put Gravedigger on the side. And everybody said, woo, that guy's bad. That's Gravedigger right there. Driving Gravedigger is a thrill. I'm telling you, man, I'm, uh, you know, I'm 50 years old now. I've been doing this for 30 years. And I still feel like a teenage kid driving a hot, souped up four-wheel drive truck every time I get in that thing, no matter how much I drive it. But it, it truly is, it's, a, it's adrenaline flash that you've never had before. If you're, you know, riding in one is one story, but driving and getting behind the wheel of one is really a thrill. I've had this truck 42 feet in the air, landed the thing on the ground and kept going. Now that is spectacular right there. And it's scary too, I'm gonna to tell you that. But um, man, I've been doing it uh, for most of my life. I love it and all of our fans love it too. The future for Gravedigger and Dennis Anderson, I can tell you right now, this old guy will never go away. I'll be all on track side with uh, Monster Jam for as long as I live. And I'm gonna tell you right now, and after I'm gone, there's gonna be Gravedigger and there's gonna be Monster Jam because it's here to stay. I'm telling you, man, we're on top of the world right now. I've got second generation. My boys have stepped into the business, Adam and Ryan, and we have Weston. He's just around the corner. He'll be coming out on the track. and. Um, so my family's gonna take it over, man. It's like, uh, I'm not gonna retire anytime soon. This thing doesn't hurt me any more today than it did 25 years ago. So I'm here for the ride.